Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is another rainy day, two rainy days in a row. Today I'm going to be repotting my pomegranate tree. I last worked on this tree in January of this year, pruning up the top and picking a front. Today I'm going to get it potted up. Here is a look at the tree. This is the front that I chose last time I pruned it up and I think it's a really good front. I have the larger, thicker trunk in the foreground, the smaller trunk behind. It has a few aerial roots coming off the smaller trunk. Quite an interesting composition. I was thinking a lot about what pot I should put this tree in. The flowers on the pomegranate are orange and the opposite of orange is blue. So a blue pot would bring out the color of the flowers really nicely. The color of the leaves on a pomegranate are green, of course. The opposite of green is red. So if I mixed blue, the opposite of the flowers, with red, the opposite of the leaves, I would get purple. So a purple pot would bring out the vibrant color of the leaves and the flowers at the same time. So I was looking around for a purple pot and I found one that I think will work really well. Here is a look at the pot that I've selected for this tree. It's a pot that Ray made and you might say, well, Nigel, that is not a blue pot. It's not a red pot. It's not a purple pot. It's a green pot. I'll show you uh, why I selected this pot. The basic tonal color of this pot matches the trunk of the tree really closely. And then if I flip the pot over to here and rotate it around, you will see the blues and the purples in the pot. The purple color along here. So it has highlights of those colors that I wanted to help make the flowers and the leaves pop on the tree. So I think overall it's a really good selection uh, for this pomegranate tree. I'm hoping this pot will be the best of all worlds. The basic color of the pot will tone nicely with the trunk color of the tree and the highlight colors on the pot will be the opposite of both the flowers and the leaves. There is no right or wrong when selecting a pot for a tree. It's just what looks personally good to you and what makes sense to you. So I'm going to get the tree out of the pot. I got this tree last year from a nursery. So I've never looked at the roots and I suspect it's growing in, you know, a a commercial kind of potting soil. It's what it looks like. It has some perlite in it and some dark earth. Here's the front of my tree. So I'll have to remember that looking in at the uh, two trunks. So I'll remove that and I'll begin combing out the roots. All right, here I go. So I have no idea how far down this, this trunk line will go into the soil. It will be interesting. So this pomegranate has been chilling in the basement all winter. So it's been kept cool enough that it loses its leaves. Uh, you can also keep them a little warmer where they keep their leaves all winter. But they need a period of dormancy to be really healthy. So if you keep them tropical and growing all winter, they'll lose their vigor and eventually get weak and possibly die. So they are a temperate tree, not a tropical tree. And the cool period should stimulate them to flower and get fruit. So yeah, a very showy plant for bonsai. see the aerial roots coming off the secondary trunk there. So pomegranate trees are known for their kind of cool bark. Uh, they, they look very old quickly. And so it, it's kind of a, a nice tree as a bonsai because even a young tree can look very very good. So I'm getting down there. I'm just combing out the bottom of the root base now. 
untangling all these roots that are growing along the bottom of the pot. Okay, so that is bare rooted. I'm going to wash the roots, clean them off, and come back for the root pruning. All right, into the pail goes the pomegranate. Get those roots washed off. That looks good. Let's begin the root pruning. Here is a look at my root system. And there's the pot. So it'll definitely fit in here quite nicely. So the main feature of the root system is I have a tap root that comes down here. It's quite developed, that tap root. And all the other roots are quite fine. So I need to sever that tap root maybe in half and then develop more fine roots around the base of the trunk. So it'll be a long-term process getting this tree to have a really nice radial root base, but today I'll start it on its way. All right, here I go with the root pruning. So there's that tap root going down on the angle. So a lot of radial roots you know, eventually I would cut that right off and develop all my roots around there. But for now, I'm going to cut it right here. Here I go. Oh, it's tough. There we go. Get rid of that bottom part of the tap root. Then all the other roots that are coming down, I'll just prune them off to kind of get them, you know, a root plane established. So it's kind of flat on the bottom here. Let me see how that fits in the pot. There's the pot. So the height isn't bad. It could be lowered down a little more. So maybe I could take a little more off this tap root. I will. Like that. And I think that'll be a good height for the tree in the pot. So I don't want to take much more than that off the root system. Uh, once this tree is in bonsai soil and has a good summer of growing, I think it'll fill this pot with fine roots. And the next time I go to do the root work, I'll have a lot more roots to choose from and I can do a lot more refinement then. I'll put my drainage screen in the bottom of the pot, add a base layer of soil, like that, and then plant the tree. Now I've got to pick the front of the pot and I think I want to pick the front where it had the most of that bluish purple right here. So this foot forward like that. The tree, the front of the tree was here like that. Just rotating it a bit like that. So I will arrange the roots in the soil here. So I will just try and make all these roots as radial as possible, kind of combing them out. Yeah, I think that's about all I can do. I'm going to plant the tree pretty well on center. And I'll begin to fill it in now. And I'll have a look at the composition in the pot before I finally decide on the position. I may want to move it uh, slightly over to one side. So let's have a look at that now. Here's a look at the composition. I think I could maybe tilt the tree a bit, having this come up a little more vertical. And maybe move it over to the right hand side just a bit. Kind of, uh, you know, a bit of an offset in the pot, but making the whole composition look balanced. No, I don't like that. Move it back again. Maybe rotate the tree just a little. Like that. I think that's better. This is coming more towards the viewer. Maybe even tilt it a bit more. Like that. 
yeah that's looking much much better now and maybe moving the whole tree back a bit something like that yeah that's looking really really nice okay I, I'm happy with that I'm going to fill it in with soil And I'll work that soil into the root system. I'm going to leave the aerial roots on for now. I may change my mind in the future if I you know, don't like them, but I think they're kind of a cool feature. Gives the tree a bit of an exotic look. Okay, tree feels nice and firm in the pot. I think I'm ready to water the tree. All right, here I go with the water. And that should do it. If you're ever unsure about what style of pot or what color of pot to put underneath a tree, just type the tree in uh, on the internet and you'll see lots of examples of your tree, the pomegranate matched with a certain type of pot or certain color of pot. Look for one that you really like and uh, go with that. It's a, it's a good way to get a feel for what you want because most people do not have 10 pots to choose from they have to go out and buy a specific pot for the tree and a lot of times you don't know if it's a perfect match until you try it so if you do it your research online you'll get something that's pretty close and something that you'll like i'm going to leave the pomegranate here in the glass greenhouse i noticed some of the buds are swelling on it so it's ready to start growing for spring and it'll get nice light here in the glass greenhouse and it should do quite well here is a final look at the pomegranate. I'll rotate it around so you can see it from all angles. Here I go. There's the back. And back to the front. I'm really looking forward to the upcoming growing season, the first season where I'm growing this as a bonsai in bonsai soil. I'll be giving it lots of water and fertilizer, and it should develop quite a bit over this summer. That is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>